He says he's what's called a Hollywood Marine because Spencer Curry did his Marine Corps training in California, but his time in Vietnam was anything but glamorous. Curry was injured and was sick multiple times, but he survived 15 months overseas. This is his story as an 18 year old sent to fight in the jungle. Matter of fact, I don't even think I was 18 yet. Wow. Yeah, I was going to be 18 in a couple of months. Spencer Curry wanted to challenge himself when he enlisted in the late 1960s, and he did. As he remembers, training was difficult. They had told us when we graduated that we weren't going to Vietnam. Then <laughs> the very next day, we're going to Vietnam. And so began 15 months in the jungles of Vietnam. Vietnam was, at that time for me, being the age I was, wasn't very good for me because uh, during that time, the residual effects of Martin Luther King getting assassinated carried over into the Marine Corps. And there was a lot of racial tension, even in Vietnam. Curry first flew into Da Nang and was stationed in Quang Tri. You know, you are practically on alert 24-7 over there. I know the very first day that I was out in the jungle, we got hit. And I had a friend of mine that was probably 50 yards from me. You know, a rocket hit close to his bunker and it killed the person that was in there, but it didn't, it didn't kill him. But he was shell shocked. They had to they had to grab him and and uh, lead him lead him out of there. Curry remembers that conditions in the jungle and the brush were tough and dangerous. He was wounded in one of the firefights on his birthday. You know the far fight that particular night was really fierce, and the choppers came in to pick up the wounded, and they couldn't do it. So I had to sit there or stay overnight till the next morning. And they um, took me and some other guys, and I had to dr ride in a helicopter with uh, dead comrades. I'm on one end and they're on the other. He did recover and went back to fight. Eventually, Curry was given orders to return to the United States and finish his time enlisted there. Most people, uh, if they knew what Vietnam veterans had to endure over there, um, they would probably have maybe a little bit more respect. Curry was wounded, which means he should have received a Purple Heart with his other service medals, but he didn't. For many years, he tried to get the honor he deserved with no luck until recently. In March, at the unveiling of the Purple Heart parking spaces at the Moundsville DMV, Curry was surprised that the, with the news that he will finally be receiving that Purple Heart medal.